Well, the AS, you know, it's, it's where I, I learned how to prepare at the elite end of the sport that I chose, which was rugby union, and some wonderful people and some people who came in and I served them coffee were a big part of the, that education and obviously that journey, which I was lucky enough to in, in, engage for about 14, 15 years of my life. So it's, I owe so much of my, my, my playing career due to my education and, and the time spent in this facility. It's fantastic. They're a huge improvement and the, the customers are going to have a... Customers are really going to like the coffee here. Uh, it's actually really good, yeah. Uh, double shot. Yeah, really nice. Excellent variety with a really nice skinny chai. Delicious. <laughs> We train the Bristol's, we brought the guys up, for, up to Sydney uh, just to sharpen up their skills and they're doing a great job. So I think everyone will be really pleased and see the nice change, all about quality and consistency. Really good. Um, just come up before and after training, grab a coffee, you know, wake yourself up a little bit, helps out. Oh, it's fantastic. Look, if I've had one coffee already and it, it would appear that George seems to apply the high standards he uh, had on the field to his coffee making, so that's a great sign for us. Um, I know, I know that everyone enjoys a coffee around here, and everyone enjoys good quality food, particularly if you're in uh, that, that training, training mentality. But also, there's a big surrounding community around this area, and I think once the word spreads, people enjoy good food, good quality coffee, and uh, I'm sure we'll get good support. The people of Canberra, if something's good, they'll support it. George, of course, went through the AIS program here. He is the most capped Wallaby. Um, he's a Brumby, so he's our very own here in Canberra. And yet here he is, a successful businessman post his professional sporting career. So he presents as a great role model in all facets of his both sporting career and now his business career. So congratulations to both George and his wife Erica for what they've done here.